Hello everybody and welcome to another top 5 board gaming video. Today's topic is all about brand new as well as upcoming games. So with the COVID-19 pandemic still spreading all across the land, a lot of board game conventions have either shut down completely or moved entirely online. Gen Con, for example, just recently released their official list of all of the games that are going to be announced and eventually released, and so I thought it would be kind of a nice change of pace to go over some of the ones that while I haven't played them, I've heard of them, I'm excited about them, and I really want to see them so that we can still get that little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. That said, there is a huge list of all sorts of games that are still coming out this year, not just at Gen Con, but at all sorts of other things, some of which have already happened. So I would love to hear what you all have to say, what the games are that you're looking forward to most and why. But with that, we're going to dive right in with my number five. At number 5 I've got Warp's Edge. On the face of it, this is a pretty unique game because it is exclusively solitary. The story behind it is that you are playing as a pilot whose ship is badly damaged and you are trying to go and destroy the mothership of a massive alien fleet that's coming to blow you up, essentially. It seems really fascinating, it seems like they've got some really cool card-based mechanics in it as far as movement, dodging, and all that kind of thing. I'm curious to see where it goes, but mostly I'm really excited because it's a solo exclusive. Warp's Edge, my number Number five. At number 4 I've got the Unmatched series. The most recent installment of this is Jurassic Park, which just sounds awesome because Jurassic Park, and it sounds very similar to Raptor, but this game series really kind of does a Raptor combined with Deadliest Warrior idea, where you have a bunch of random things kind of splatted down into a game table and fighting against one another. They're two-player games where you've got Team 1 versus Team 2 in the case of Jurassic Park, the, um, the Keeper versus the dinosaurs just like Raptor but then you also have things like Robin Hood versus Bigfoot you also have Sinbad and King Arthur and a couple other folks in that other game that I don't remember it just sounds so goofy but so much fun at the same time I absolutely really want to try all of them but for Jurassic Park primarily unmatched is my number four and number three I've got Freedom not just because we've been cooped up in the house for so long, but because the game genuinely seems to have some really fascinating siege mechanics. Essentially, the idea is that you have asymmetric gameplay where one person is playing as the people who live inside of a castle, and the other person is playing as the folks who are trying to attack it and siege it. So you've got all of the different things related to maintaining food, maintaining supply lines, uh, maintaining morale, all of that kind of stuff on both sides in different ways. So it sounds really cool and a lot of fun. Freedom, my number three. At number two, I've got Cosmic Duel. When I first heard about this game, I was legitimately excited and I still cannot wait to play it. As you guys probably know, I've warmed up significantly to these duel styles of games and Cosmic Encounter is my favorite game of all time. That said, I'm a little bit skeptical of exactly how it's going to work, but apparently the mechanics are different enough from the original Cosmic Encounter that it doesn't suffer from the lack of players that a regular game of Cosmic does, and simply because it's my my favorite and it's something that I think could have been done really well. I'm super excited to play it and it is my number two. At number one, I've got the expansion for Dune. So for anybody who has read the books and or played the game, you know that Dune is a massive, massive world with a lot of intrigue going on. The expansion to the game adds some of the key houses that were left out of the original game from the books, and the fact is that they are never going to get all of the material from the book, but I absolutely love the game. I've only played it once, but I really, really want to get the expansion. I love the series, even though it's very convoluted and difficult. It has amazing world building and I just completely geek out over the entire thing. Super excited to see the expansion for what it is and more importantly just get the base game so that I can play it whenever I want. But with that the Dune expansion is my number one. Well everybody that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video on the five games that I am most excited to play that have recently been released or are yet to be released. With the convention circuit shut down it's really unfortunate so that we're not able to go and actually try these games out but thankfully we're able to see a 
lot of material online. We're able to still see components, playthroughs, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm still psyched up to be able to do it, and I can't wait to put some of these games on the table. That said, as always, I want to hear what you guys have to say. What are games that you've seen on the Gen Con list or PAX list or whatever it happens to be that you're super excited to play? Or what are some games that you've already gotten? Like I said, some of these have been released. I just personally have not had a chance to play them. Let me know anything and everything in the comments below because you know I'd love to hear it. That said, as always, also, if you haven't done so already, please take a look at my various social media pages where you can interact with myself and my channel in a whole bunch of fun ways. And of course, if you are still in quarantine, please stay safe, please stay inside, and let's just weather this storm together. But we can at least spend some of it thinking about games. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.